So this is actually a Codename Bears finals right here. There you this go. Is, uh, this is the Philadelphia Proud right here. Beast and Juice back on the setup, and we still got Six and Uno. This, these are two teams that face each other all the time. This is their same region. This is literally basically doubles final at Codename Bears every single week. So this is to decide who's going to fight off against New England later on. That's you, got, you, got, you got Pelk and DM waiting in Grand. That's, that's a tough task, especially. Already going after these two teams, like just the fact that you have one more team, especially that caliber, to go up against. But right now, we got basically the same teams that we've seen. No mix-ups here. Beast and Juice with their pride and joys. But that, oh my god, already that up smash killing uh, Juice already. And Beast being sent far off stage. Six and Uno just focusing so hard on a specific character, not letting the other one breathe, though. Now, it's funny that you mentioned this is a codename Bears Grand Finals because this, this set actually happened earlier in Winter's Semis with Beast and Juice finding victory. Yeah, true. So this is a run back for potentially 6WX and Uno. This is, this is their chance to finally, finally like, you know, get that uh, second coming for both this, these, this set as well as Pelton and DM later in Grands. All right, here we go. Joker with our set now. Six focusing on Beast, getting the punish off that forward smash. But man, that forward smash is coming in from Juice and actually only killing Beast in that process. I go, just throwing out some Aegon's. Going to be extremely strong towards the center of the stage. You saw him trying to get that huge read upon him landing down on the ground. Oh, good <laughs> lord. I cannot believe he hit his teammate. A lot of team kills are happening today. A I don't know. A lot of I team mean, it wasn't kills. A, it technically wasn't a kill, but it almost, like, it sent him flying. It's, he took a lot of damage. Both players took damage from that. Such is the nature. Beast oh, getting Charizard. the throw on the platform, and that's going to do it for Uno. Six doing a really good job. It was for a second of getting, uh, keeping Juice off stage, but Juice yeah. able to come back. Six with that up smash now. And they're just going to go for the flame throw off stage just to try to maintain this stage control. Good approach. Very good job with that back air, following him high with that. And now it's down to one stock for Six, actually. This is what they needed to do right now. Uno can Uno like is still a very respectable player, but they need to focus on six because that gauge could be the death of them. Barely any time has passed and already three still half the stocks are gone from both teams. You got Charizard sitting over here at 128%. Beast has got to find his way back to the stage. Managed to do so because of the jab on the edge of the stage again. 6WS is going to send him right back off. A good punish from Juice, giving him a plenty of breathing room to get back onto the stage. But Uno with the anti air. And there was that Rebels Guard coming out too from that team combo with six. And Rebels Guard just, you can hold on to it for so long, but it gives you just yeah. so much gauge. And especially in doubles alone, Joker gets so much meter off of that because he gets meter off of his teammate taking damage, his, t his teammate dying. His him taking damage, period. Yeah, his teammate hitting his Rebels Guard on purpose. Like, yep. there's so much. That, so you just, you constantly see Arsene in this match. Six punishing both players actually for getting that little combo on Uno right there. Okay, Six feeling himself a bit. You saw that 1v2 for a second while Uno just charged oh, up his ink. It's a 1v2 now. Juice is gone. They stole the momentum. And now we just got Beast by himself throwing out Razor Leafs, trying to find the confirm. One back throw. Two back throws if he managed to get this punish. kill. He needs this kill so bad. Rebels Guard going to be able to go through Vine Whip, gets back onto the stage, and that sealed his fate. Good pickup from 6WX. If that was literally any other character, that would have been the perfect opportunity. The problem is, there was Rebels Guard. It's not only is he getting that gauge, not only is he stopping most of your damage, he's slowing all of his momentum down perfectly. And that was the exciting moment, that Rebels Guard, because you saw all the momentum was in Beast's favor. He tossed one person off stage and got the kill. He tossed 6WX, but didn't get the kill, and then tries to finish him off with Vine Whip, because he knows if he gets that kill, it's actually a doable to make that comeback. But the second Rebels Guard came out, it was Dunzo. They stole the momentum right back. Uh, got, got grabbed, Uno threw him into 6WX's bear and got the kill afterwards. And now they are feeling themselves. Second away, game one from the people that sent them to losers. Absolutely, man. And like as you said, like I was so surprised that Six actually missed that punish off of the back throw. And good job by Beast able to get that. If that back throw had connected, that would have been a completely changed game. If that back throw actually killed, but that's an if and that's a yep. what if. But right now, we're jumping into the game two with Six yep. and Uno, the brothers united. And to be top. fair, to be fair, he was at high percent. He was so a very like, high it, it, it still would have been like an uphill battle, but it, but it would have been doable. Yes. Okay, let's jump back into a P PS2, the safe stage to go for in doubles. You know, it's it's pretty difficult to find a stage that you want to go to against uh, when you have four different types of characters on screen, you know? Seriously. Just go for the big stage with the two platforms. Okay, Six trying to close that out, but good up B coming out from B is going to be able to just slide through those bullets. Just missing that forward smash with yeah. Uno. 
Aegon point blank catches the second one. When you combo Aegon into Aegon, just catches yet another jump with up smash. Gonna miss up. Uh, that was 6WX uh, messing up the uh, pickup from Uno. Doesn't Don't see that too oh, often, that but hey, he makes up for it. Gets that little hit off the forward air from Uno and connecting with that back air, especially with Arsene. That back air is so much stronger and so deadly. And right now, like especially with these top platforms, we haven't seen it yet, but I saw it earlier today. We got to worry about this, the up airs. If he strings that completely, that can be a lot of damage if he isn't careful. Oh my god, Six, you madman. He landed the gun pointing downwards, got the footstool afterwards, and continued the, the combo onslaught off stage. Looking to try to end the stock immediately. Six going off stage once again, able to get back on. Just trying to punish him with something. Gets that forward air, gets that forward smash for Uno's efforts. Okay, there we go. A fantastic down smash coming out from 6WX, doing it right out of shield to get the kill. You saw Beast attempting to get that spike that would have been imperative for him to land. 6WX off stage, managed to get back on. There was no one really there to, you know, harass him with Uno protecting his bro. It actually looked like they were lining up for that jab block combo again. They were in perfect position for that too. And a fantastic pickup yet again from 6. You saw the, fa uh, the Falco illusion coming in, the side B. He manages to just connect the back air, gets the kill. Arsene putting in mad work. And here's the thing right now. Look at six stocks. He hasn't lost a single one yet. This is a super bad situation for Juice and Beast that they got to get out of right now. they got to take care of six somehow quickly. And Uno himself at 119, finally the first stock falls for 6WX. But Uno at 131 with two stocks left. Offstage fighting with Juice right here. What's going to come of it? Getting the six going around, getting that grab. Good job sending them off stage. That was a rare scenario where they both opponent, both teams had a grab. So they're just like, ah, maybe we shouldn't pummel and just throw <laughs> them throw the opposite side. Did you set back to neutral? Agree? Agree. There we go. Back, back throw. throw. Getting out the Ivy Soar. That's roller. What you, that's what you got to do against Roller. You got to go for the shield. The back air of Juice actually was what ended Beast's reign. And a fantastic pickup from Uno yet again. The synergy between these two guys. He just does a point blank. I mean, honestly, you gotta go, you gotta go for power plays like that, because now you're off stage against Arsene's like counter. Really hard to go for. That's why he went for a yet another early side B. Just to get back onto the stage. Look out. Literally, this is such a dangerous situation for it, uh, Beast. Right now, the best thing he can do is really just go for these potential kill options, but it won't even matter. That wasn't even the sweet spot. That, was, that wasn't even a full spike. I don't think he attempted to even go for the tag because he didn't expect to get sent in that angle. But that's going to be game number two going to 6WX and Uno up 2-0. to zero. So far today in top four, we've seen nothing, nothing but 3 O's. So we'll, we'll see if something changes here. We're going to see history repeat itself. There's that downer again. He got the sour spot against the stage. Super unfortunate for him. And you can kind of see Beast getting a little frustrated with this match right now. Not really able to get much off. And they're kind of focusing in on him and just really stopping any momentum. I mean, they just got to win. So they beat them earlier. Yes. So I, I could see, I, I would be frustrated too, honestly. Like these are the these these are the punks that we sent to losers that are coming back. And now we're about to 3-0 us when we're this close to grand finals. No, 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 no. This ain't happening. Yeah, we, we need that run back, you know. Because when you think about it, um, 6WX and Uno, you know, they haven't had their their chance with Pelk and DM. They not, haven't, no, they they haven't, haven't fought yet. them today. So, like, this could be an opportunity for a, a, a potential upset. I think they can move on to Grands. But here we go. Just one game away from seeing their selves way in Grand Finals. Or if, uh, you know, Beast and Juice can make a three-game return. I mean, that's a 2-0 deficit, man. I don't know. That's gonna, that seems like it's going to be tough. So in your in your opinion here, with the fact that Joker so, can build up Gage so easily, uh -huh. would you focus on six first in this? Would you focus on trying to get rid of him as fast as possible? Uh, I, I, honestly, in doubles, that's something you don't want to do too much of. You, you want to, like, focus one character. Because you want to... Doubles is beautiful because you're constantly switching targets. That's the point of it. You, you always want to be going after the character that's either attacking your teammate or like the one that's at disadvantage off stage. Th there's so many factors that go into it. So I don't know whether that's necessarily the correct answer or not. Because while 6WX is doing a lot of work, the second you start focusing him and let Uno run, rain wild, uh, then again, I. <laughs> yeah! Nice forward smash, nice, 6WX. Very nice forward. Fantastic forward <laughs> smash. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah. And Uno's first stock falls. No more Arsene for 6WX. And at 99%, if Beast and Juice play their card right, this could be a quick death for 6. But right now, 6 actually with firm control on stage. Juice sending him off, though. Just trading stage control back and forth between the two teams. Pulls him right back down with the grappling hook. Wants to continue this combo onslaught. But Beast looking, trying to get this edge guard. You see how hungry he is for these back airs. Because you see 
team, uh, red team with a little bit of stage control. Yeah, he's just barely missing these punishes too in the air. Oh no, he's in a bad spot. Nice Good tech. tech. He had to go for that tech to get back to the stage. That yeah, that Joker without R send that down, I will not spike. It sends off in a weird angle direction, and he knew that coming in, and he got that tech off. Charizard looking like a Super Mario Sunshine monster there was for that a second with that blue smash from Uno. That was so smart, but just a hair too late. He got a jab lock, wanted to return and go for the side B to try to like finish him off, but it was a because he was so slow, he accidentally hit the shield. Nice right attempt, now. anyways. Valiant yeah. attempt. Ba very valiant attempt. But right now, just pummeling six right now. B's got to find a way to just get rid of six right now. Look at that Uno shield also pressure. at a very high percent. Beast now going for Uno. Going far off. Not letting him breathe and getting the quick stock. Uno down to his last stock while six is at 67% with Arsene, though. There we go, risky dash attack. Gonna be able to just go for the back throw. You saw he ran to the left side to try to like assist Beast just or Juice just in case. Saw that he was uh, he had an edge guard perfectly fine. Opted to go back to try to edge guarding six WX. Good awareness. Okay, Beast looking for this down oh. air against Inkling. He, I mean that's devastating. You get caught by Charizard's foot, man. That thing weighs a ton. Just I don't know go. what the Pokedex says for his weight, but oh god. No tech coming out with that. Beast needed to help Juice there because Juice was in a bad way, but Beast was too hung up with Uno right now. Oh! You wanted it wow. so bad. If you're going to hold a rapid jab against my friend, I'm going to go for the ultimate move. Side B. Okay, there he goes. Throws. And once again, Beast in a bad way currently and losing his stock. They're down to one stock apiece except for 6WX right now. He's at high percent. This is the moment. The turnaround was hoping to go back on there. 6 is just knocking him out of that charge state with the gun yet again. And Playing six, it safe yeah, with the center. Getting far over to the side, avoiding anything possible. And right now, just Uno, just those backers sending Beast off stage. Beast now sending six off stage. These teams and are just literally trading back and forth. And Uno is so successful with those backers because he's landing them so close to the ground they can easily go for the second one immediately afterwards. Very great tool, especially like you said, so close to the ground. But there goes Joker. Important Joker pick. on his last stock right now. You Uno at 95. Uno was jumping around those platforms because it was imperative for him to try to survive while he waited for 6WX to spawn back onto the stage. Now he's out of ink, so now all the pressure is going to be on Inkling. There he goes, managed to get like a very little bit, maybe enough for a grenade, and that's all. Juice. Hey, oh, trying to so find hungry something. for the back air. Six stayed very close to Uno, so if anyone tried to go for Uno, they had to go through six. That was really, actually, really good spacing coming out from six there. But right now, both red team just camping on that platform for a quick sec, trying to compose themselves. Everyone's bleeding except for jo uh, Joker. Six WX, there we oh. go. Good pickup from Uno. And then a back here immediately afterwards. Another 3 0 today in top four. That's going to be six WX and Uno moving on to grand finals, defeating the team that sent them to losers in the first place. But now, they're not the woods just yet, man. They got to take two sets. Two off of uh, Pelka and DM from New England. They've, take, they've taken a game off of one of their fellow Philadelphia natives, Jamouche. They took an entire set off of their, their Philadelphia natives. Right. And now they got to go against out of region. Now they have to come in, in and face the invaders of New England, Pelka and DM, who, from everything we've seen today, have been basically unstoppable. We'll see if it'll be another 3-0, man. I don't know. We've seen nine games so far, so... Uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but hey, if you guys